What is up, lads? Welcome back to the podcast. I am joined again by the beast that is Weza, Weza FC, or just Weza. It's just Weza now. You've rebranded. I'm going to take. I was going to say I'm going to take that as a fat joke soon if you keep calling me. And <laughs> I'm just, getting old. But... Your whole club now. You're like your whole club is your persona on your Twitch stream. Absolutely absolutely massive we are yeah absolutely man massive. the help no, desk that's what it is where is it the help desk you should change your name to that where is it the help desk that would be a Where's nice ring to it like you could do some Wouldn't nice branding that? opportunities with that you know you could <laughs> have a 1-800 center. number free call yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway lads we're uh we're taking a slightly different approach today to the opening of the podcast because we're going to be on your screen where is it? you can't see you're in the dark but we're going to be having the actual bit of news and the update that we've, we finally got a bit of news, Wes, on the next update that's going to be coming, which is going to be V1.1, um, which has caused, I mean, are we back in, we're back in on kind of dicey territory or, or thin ice. I think Konami have, have, have played it, I think, a little bit tight uh, this time with V1.1 because there is going to be delays. There's going to be extended maintenance. There's going to be stuff we will we will get into that. But just to give a bit of a roundup on it, as you're seeing on your screens there, lads, if you are not watching this on YouTube and you're listening to the audio version, always we're just going to go over a couple of bits and pieces. I'm going to throw some stuff to you to discuss and then we can have a quick catch up of the news and a roundup of the news. And then we're going to jump into uh, season one and our thoughts on season one and what we, we enjoyed, what we didn't enjoy. Uh, the good, the bad, the ugly of our experiences with that, and then bring it back to kind of season two and give our full blowout on, you know, what we think of the announcements. So, um, yeah, I mean, kicking us off, I think the first bit of news we got was, was the fact that V1.1 was going to be coming with a load of updates. So they talk about, you know, having improvements to the server, um, that there's going to be data sharing between console and mobile. And then obviously the big clangor that they dropped in there was that the maintenance period for this integration is going to be from 30 to May to 2nd of June. So they've also talked about having offline matches 10 minutes long. Um, season two is going to be scheduled to kick off on June 16th, various in-game events. And that's pretty much it. And just to switch the picture before we move on from that, um, we do have the second one, which is the mobile. So pretty much everything we announced there, plus the fact that it's actually going to be the mobile version is going to be updated to have eFootball in. So, yeah, Wes, I mean, throwing it back to you, man, right? Because obviously there's a lot to digest here and people have been up in arms on Twitter asking us our opinions. And I think I put up a, a kind of a, a kind of a, a tongue in cheek um, twi tweet where I was like, you know, what topics will we talk about today on the <laughs> on the podcast? And I got slapped down by a few people that were like, you don't need a topic. You know what to talk about and stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I mean, start with the first one there, right? Like, let's let's get the elephant in the room the, the maintenance obviously which is effectively as of right now the game is pretty much you know there's no divisions there's no ranking there's no i don't know we're kind of back before we had the divisions in the eFootball league in yeah. the game so you've got your 1v1 games you've got your events um and that's obviously going to be you know what we're playing until season two kicks in which is a long time to wait for you know competitive people there are people that are playing it regularly and even for casuals i would say as well that are kind of striving towards getting up the divisions but um i mean yeah Wes, i'll throw it over to you man because i've been talking for four minutes <laughs> solid and i need a breath but yeah let me know your thoughts on that man and like what what you think of that well uh well from from a from an early kind of start point i mean we'll go but i you know i won't I won't narrow in on the maintenance period first because mm. that that's going to be. All right, be, just that, throw my question now. Just that's, you just go. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's 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 part and parcel. The the, the kind of the, the good news of it is is that yes, further updates are coming, which is which is great. You know, we have further updates. We have stuff that's then being added. We've got stuff that's being more stable or being stabilized by, for lack of a better term, in terms of servers, in terms of uh, connections, etc. We do have crossplay coming again, which mm -hmm. is quite good from a standpoint of matchmaking in terms of playing play you know in terms of you know matchmaking and finding games quicker yeah that'll also be helpful then when you then really get into kind of the the meat and kind of potatoes of it is you've got a five day window mm. where your game is essentially bricked yeah yeah it's essentially bricked yeah and and for for anybody who even if you're an experienced player if you're somebody who's only just started playing it that's just ridiculous. It's it's ridiculous yeah. for for no other word. It is yeah, absolutely crazy. Ridiculous. All right, 
and and I use this phrase a lot. We are in the year of 2022, mm. right? If you cannot systemically put in a system where you can update a game without having to take it offline for yeah, X amount of hours, years. yeah, of, which, which is now going to be five days, right? In the middle of when you are meant to be getting people still engaged with your game. Bear in mind, this game has only now been out what a month now. Yeah, so yeah, it's a month, month, month today, isn't it? Or yesterday. So, so you have got. New players who are here who have never experienced eFootball before. You've got experienced players who have been here since the days where it was Pez. And you have your people who flirted with it every now and again. Yeah. All three of those player bases are affected equally mm. by this. Mm. It doesn't matter whether you've played it since it was ISS. It doesn't matter if you've played it since it was eFootball. It doesn't matter if you've played it since it was Pez 6. Regardless of where you've picked this up, it affects you, right? That's That's part one. That maintenance window, absolutely unacceptable. What is unacceptable for me is also the fact that we are now in a live service environment, mm. a live service game where we're constantly told, yep, yeah, season one, season two, it's all going to be about seasons. It's going to be different things, which sounded great in theory. However, we're now having to go, season one is month one. You have a break essentially for month two, and then season two then kicks off in month three. Yeah. No other live service game that I know of or that I'm aware of, be it Fortnite, be it, um, be it uh, Call of Duty, mm-hmm. be it like Overwatch, those types of games, none of them take a month to go from season to season. Yeah. It's literally season one finishes, season two starts. Mm-hmm. So I put out a, 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 a tweet yesterday where I was like, yeah, there's different phases of this. There's, yeah. there's confusion, there's anger, there's acceptance. Then there's the people who will bemoan all of this information but we'll still play it on the 16th yeah. of june yeah or even play it even before then in the lead up to the 16th of june yeah and then you'll have your people that will just be like do you know what they must have some type of reasoning for all this mm. which i would like to think there is somebody within that organization be that Konami, who must have a very very good reason as to why this is happening because it doesn't make any sense to your fan base it doesn't make any sense to the community, and it doesn't make any any sense to anybody mm. as to how this is functioning. As of what you the know, information we know right now, it doesn't. As of the information we have right now, yeah, uh, you know, we 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 have bemoaned communication pre version 0.9. We 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 bemoaned the information that came out because there was nothing. Mm. Then it improved for season one because mm. suddenly we had oh here's all of these issues that we're aware of here's yeah. everything that we've updated here's everything that we have seen and now we're back to the dark ages where it's almost like it's almost like your street magician you know you've got three cups they show you the ball <laughs> and then they move the ball around and then you've got to find out where the ball is yeah and if you pick the wrong cup ah uh, sorry sorry yeah, next, next, time. next time and that it, it it genuinely <clears throat> feels feels like that mm. and. I I understand the anger and I understand the confusion. I understand it all because I you know I'm a player of it. You're a you're a consumer of it too. Like we all are, regardless if you're content creator or player, you're feeling the same type of anger because you're just like, how does this make any yeah, it's sense? It's just having the and option more, removed, not to be able to yeah, play divisions, is is kind of it's frustrating. But it's not even yeah, and it's not even just on that score. It's mm. like if you're then turning around and going. Oh, please make sure you engage with our events whilst this stuff's going on. Yeah, great. But where's the replayability? Mm. Because you're getting a hundred, you're getting a hundred GP once you've once you've completed it yeah, once. All the once you've completed it once. Yeah. So, so what am I what am I playing for? Like, yeah. you know, for me, for me, I'm quite lucky in the fact that I can go and play FIFA. I can go play Elden Ring. I'm gonna do whatever I want. Yeah. But there are some people who are like, do you know what? I don't like those games, and, yeah, and those are the people who I, as, you know, football, yeah. those, those are the people I feel for because it's yeah. like, great. Well, what am I actually doing? Mm. Like, apart from really realistically training players, up, what am I actually doing? Yeah, and it, it, it's like, you may as well just stick the if 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 e football's all you play, you may as well play the events and then stick your controller down for five days mm. in between each different maintenance period because yeah. there's, there's nothing to play for. No, I agree, man, and I think like especially on this podcast, like over the last I would say year. We've been very, you know, like when something needs to be praised, like we can yeah. praise it, right? I, I I always repeat this. It's like I should have a disclaimer to start the podcast, you know, optimist, <laughs> optimist uh, inbound or whatever. But like when things are 
not hitting the mark like you have to call it out and it's not a it's not a personal attack saying this is you know you there's a way you do it you know what i mean we can come on here and we can spit everything we want to spit out and some people will agree with us some people won't like i think you know you have to criticize stuff that is not good enough you know what i mean and that's that's just the same with any game any entertainment any platform any media whatever you're doing and i think the biggest part like that i'm frustrated with is the fact that like they've they've clawed back so much i won't say goodwill i won't even push it that far but they've clawed back that you know people are angry now that they can't play the game they're not angry that they're playing the game they're not enjoying it or they're angry about the fact that there's nothing to play in the game they're angry that they're actually they can't play the game which is a brilliant problem to have if you're a developer looking to monetize your fan base you know what i mean like if you're actively saying we want to play this game we are enjoying playing this game yes it's frustrating yes it has issues yes there's a lot that needs to be tweaked and upgraded and updated and there needs to be an overhaul to the events and the amount of gp you get and there's all of these stuff but at as you said was at the end of it it's like but i'm still logging on to play it you know what i mean and that's a huge shift that has happened from pez 21 to efootball um and we've covered that in the episodes of like having the transfer market you can buy and train young players and all that right but like they should be striking while the iron is hot here now and literally yeah, lumping you know like adding fuel to the fire instead of dousing it in water you know what i mean in ice cold water yeah, yeah. and saying listen we're after getting a really good run and start here but now we're going to kind of take off the maintenance now we don't know right as as we're doing this podcast we don't know what they're going to add in season two they could add yeah. a brand new feature that is like you know oh so that's why they took the maintenance this is amazing like look at what we're playing for now and match passes in and but obviously we're only going on what we know so far or what we're allowed yeah, to speak yeah. about so 100%. it's yeah it's it, it is it is very frustrating because as i was saying to you during the week right like I'm doing my YouTube series at the moment where I'm literally yeah. playing my matches live and I'm recording and whatever. Yeah. I genuinely haven't had as much fun playing 1v1 Pez, I would say, since Pez 15, I would say. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm logging on at my lunch break, like, kind of looking forward <laughs> to the morning going and being like, yeah, right, yeah. do I want to have, you know, do I want to have a nice lunch and maybe cook for 20 minutes and sit down and eat it with a cup of tea or do I want to shove something down so I can play a game or two of eFootball? And, like... That's been since launch, you know what I mean? Where I've been addicted, not addicted in a bad way, but I've been like, you know, looking forward to, you know, getting a player and seeing how they go into the team or trying to scrape out a draw from behind. So I do think that they've, they've slipped up with this maintenance window because again, it just gives that kind of, you know, that, that chamber of people that like are looking for a reason to kind of step away again, that now the initial shine has worn off that they're like, well, look, they, you know, they're repeating the same mistakes. Like, me personally, yeah. right, and it's a controversial one, like, I can understand if they wanted to take a, maybe a week between seasons because I know with Warzone, they kind of have the update file ready and then it comes four days that you can download it and pre-download it and then it shifts focus over to the new event that they're doing or whatever before the season starts, yeah. right? I get that. But no way would you be able to log into Warzone and literally have to play against the AI or bots running around like in private matches. Like it's always online. Like you can still play Mm -hmm. the same base mode. And I just think that removing that option for four days, like they have to have a good reason for doing it, man. I mean, maybe they're making like, the only thing I can think of is that they've had, and I know, like, I know like based on, you know, what they're tracking, I suppose, and stuff like that is like, I reckon they've been completely overwhelmed with the amount of people playing the game, even download it and logging in and trying it, that I don't think they expected. Maybe they're making huge changes to the server capacity because they do mention that, that they need to... I don't know how this side of the game like, works, development yeah, yeah, and stuff ne- like ne- that. Ne- no, we that's, don't know. That's, that's the thing. Right? Like Maybe they're making wholesome changes that... like man like this is like a future thing that season three won't have this issue because they're laying the foundations not to have a four day because i can't think of a reason why they'd want to do this if they could at all stop it because it means four days less of microtransactions it means a week less of featured players which they're making serious money on do you know what i mean like so it doesn't i don't think it's a we want people to stop playing our game and punish them and like you know we hate our fan base i think it's literally that this is what they have to do and i know yeah it sucks because like as I said, like there is still hype there for the game. And I don't think it's even that initial new game freshness type of thing. I think the gameplay is at a stage now where 
even with all the silly stuff that happens and the annoying stuff that frustrates, there's still a very solid gameplay experience to be had when the game is flowing, you know, when you can throw mm-hmm. the ball around the pitch and score some yeah. bangers. Um, yeah. So the it is frustrating, is, man. It is very frustrating. Yeah, and I think it's not it's not good enough in 22. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Like, as you've said, it's, it's, you know, you have to call it out as you see it. It's not about, yeah. like, brushing it aside and saying... Like, oh, it's fine, you know, like, sure, it's people's fault that they have too much time to be playing all the game. I mean, you have to, <laughs> if you're a live service game, yeah. you have to literally bombard the user with content. Yeah. And, and, and to but, remove content and to remove the actual ability to even play the game online, I mean, it's just, as you said, it's not it's not good enough in 22, like, you know, as simple as that. The thing is, the thing is if I'm putting on kind of, and again, my my, my, my IRL job is loosely on Yeah, team. yeah. It loo- Right. If for whatever reason you were having like a maintenance window of say five days, but say for example their their change to whatever they're doing is going to take five days, there is nothing in the world that would stop them from breaking it down and taking it over the course of the next four weeks where they have Thursday maintenances yeah. and Monday maintenances. Yeah. There is absolutely nothing unless unless but obviously from from at least from an outsider looking. Yeah, in, yeah. Unless they're adding something nothing. like wholesale to change there's, the actual yeah. mechanics of the game and the, the mode like. There's absolutely nothing there's nothing to suggest that mm. they can't start to, to, to just tiptoe towards it. And you know, if it is server capacity, for example, increasing it by say, I don't know, increasing it by ten thousand one one day, then and start to creep it up and ramp it up. Not do Ah, do you know what? We're just going to brick the game for five days. Yeah. And even then, when it comes back, we still don't have seasons. We still don't have. Yeah, a very a bit fundamental of for that then as well. That's there's a, there's a fundamental of... mode mm. that you're then now missing out on. It's for me. I wouldn't take it from Sony. I wouldn't take it from Microsoft, and I wouldn't take it from Steam. Mm. I wouldn't take a five day window from any of those. So why a games company would be any different as to how and why I'm feeling the way that I am. Mm. I would. I wouldn't take it from those. Yeah. I wouldn't take it from. My, I wouldn't take it from my bank, let alone take it from <laughs> yeah. a games company. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, a day or two, like, maybe you'd say, look, so, you know, maybe a Thursday, yeah, Friday. Yeah, a day or two. Right. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, get, I get it. Or if your broad, you know, not, like if your broadband goes, yeah. you might give them a day's grace and say, look, I'm, I'm after ringing them. I couldn't get through. They said they're aware of the issues. Blah blah blah. But then after the second day, you know, if your broadband still wasn't working, you'd be, listen, like sort this out, or else I'm gone. I'm paying for a service, like do you know, and. I think I think the thing is as well, man, like the only thing I was kind of racking my head, I remember when Warzone transitioned from the Verdansk map to the new map, Caldera, they had a bit of a downtime with it. I'm not too sure how long downtime they had, but as you say, like, it's just a pity because the game is so, so fresh. What's he smiling at now? I have so I have a podcast first. So okay. we are on the day of recording, we're the twentieth of May, correct? Yes. I have just seen a, a a tweet from a very dear Spanish friend, Jose Carrasco, okay. who has informed me and has at least shown me a screenshot that Konami have reconsidered their decision and have put in an exceptional fourteen day window of putting the eFootball League back in from June the second. So show me Carrasco here. Clap, oh, yeah, clap, see clap. here. Well done. So that's an actual in game. Listen. That's an in game. That's in game notification that has just come through. Yeah. So, well done. Well done for yeah, listening huge, to your base of going. Great. I'm reading it here. Okay. Now. Okay. I'll so see if I can get it again, up on screen. Actually, here, give me two it's seconds. It's almost. It's almost. It is almost a live version of seeing them genuinely listening to people. That's mad. Um, which is crazy, yeah. but good. Good. You finally. So, for example, now. That whole window of, oh, well, there's going to be a five-day window, it becomes a little bit hard, a little, little bit easier to stomach. Granted, there still needs to be some improvements to the events before then. Yeah. Granted, we've got what? We've got nine days until the maintenance happens. Yeah. So maybe some type of refresh of the events would be good. Mm-hmm. I know that season two, it, it's it's great. That's great news. That's massive, actually. man. I'm, I, just that's, that's con- the, I'm just getting it up here on the... Uh... The screen. Yeah, however, however, note that the eFootball League will temporarily be suspended between the 19th of May and the 2nd of June. We plan to hold Phase 2 between the 2nd of June and the 16th of June for an exceptional 14-day period after the large-scale maintenance ends. Yeah, I'm reading wow. it here now. So it says we'd well, like to provide well, well. some additional information. For anyone that's not watching and is listening, I'll, I'll keep you in mind. 
It says normally phases work begins every 28 days. However, note that eFootball League will be temporarily suspended between 19th to the 5th and 2nd of June. We plan to hold a phase two between the 2nd of June and 16th for exceptional for an exceptional 14-day period after the large-scale maintenance ends. Transitioning between phases, your starting division and new phase is determined according to the highest division you were able to reach in the previous phase. Okay, so that's <clears throat> that's kind of cleared up as well. So if you're Div 1 now in Season 1, you'll be Div 1. And if you're Div 5 or whatever, you'll start in that division. That's pretty nice. Um, wow. First-time promotion rewards. Rewards given for promoting to a division for the first time. Man, that's that's mad. Like I, I yeah, yeah, just as we were talking about. All right, maybe Jesus we should just redo the whole. Is this, uh, yeah, <laughs> the whole podcast just going, This is terrible. This is awful. And but again, this goes at the. This goes back to. Well, this is a big thing, man. This last, is a this is a big thing that they're actually yeah, listening now to. Yeah, this to goes feedback. back to my point. Yeah, it goes back to my point of, just because the game is in a good spot does not mean you stop making noise about stuff that you are passionate about. Yeah, of course. It doesn't mean you stop. It doesn't yeah. mean you stop pushing them. Yeah. The only way that games companies will get better is if you continue to push them. Yeah. Obviously, do it in the most controlled and as normal way that you can, but push them as far as you can because mm. we're starting to see a little bit of kind of bending from, from Konami. So, again, fair play to them. They've realised that there was... There's a gap, and they've they've closed it up. So now yeah, it goes right. from being, oh, okay, well, actually, you know, it goes from myself selfishly going, oh, do you know what, I'm going to have to play Weekend League until the 16th of June. I'm going to come back mentally <laughs> fried. Whereas actually now I go, oh, actually, I've only got Weekend League for, what, two weeks, and then I'm back on eFootball. Yeah. So changes changes everything. So That's fair, class, fair play to them. And to be honest with you as well, like, I... I think it was a thing that, like, when you look at something like this and we're talking about it and then they switch it, it, it ties perfectly into, you know, being critical without kind of blowing the lid. Do you know what I mean? Because we obviously don't know the reason why they're, they're transitioning between the seasons the way that they are at the moment. And, like, there was a big difference between, you know, we saw the Patrick Vieira incident probably. Everyone has probably seen it by now. There's a big difference between you know, voicing your displeasure or like, you know, saying to Vieira, like, oh, come on, like, or whatever, compared to yeah. like what that fan did yesterday, which is take it in a different level. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you can give your, it's like, a, it's like going to a football match and saying, come on, lads, like give it a good effort compared to like racially abusing somebody. Like it's, there's a, there's levels to criticism and abuse and stuff like that. And I think that, look, I mean, would this have happened last year with Pez 2021? I don't think so. Like, let's no, call a spade a no, spade. I don't think it does. You know, I don't they think are, it does. they are, they are trying. In fairness, to to give a bit more, um, to give a bit more transparency, I think with their with their stuff, that's huge, man. In real time as well, we're like we're like breaking news yeah. here now, huh? Good job, you're just on phone. We could have been complaining oh, no, for the next twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could, I could have easily been going on a on a on a on a massive on a massive go around there about season two, but. Now that that's there, yeah, that's like, massive, we can right? we can we can kind of we can kind of now kind of tr switch on to talking about season one. Yeah, man. Why well, why yeah. we're in such an anticipation of kind of waiting yeah. for for this game to come back alive? Because I, much like yourself, I have not experienced a ah oh, one just just one more just one more yeah. game. Yeah, it's mad. I've not experienced that. Enjoy. I've not experienced that in quite some time, and and. That replayability of, do you know what? I've just been smacked six nil, but do you know what? I'll just go into another game and I'll, mm. I'll I'll wash it off and on we go. Like that part of me, like there's only been one session on on stream, which I think it may have been my last e football stream, where I was like, do you know what? Just not feeling it today. Took my own advice, turned the game off, turned my stream off, and, and yeah. went, went about my day. Like, yeah. but but over over and above that one particular stream. I've had a great time with this game. Mm. Like, granted, we are, I, I think there needs to be, there still needs to be the filter systems. That that's still a yeah. That's, that's still the a, biggest omission at the moment, I think. For that's a, that's a bad that's a bad point where yeah. we do need those filter yeah. systems, both for team strength and for for pass assists. Because I saw uh, in relation to that tweet that you put out about, oh, what should we talk about? There was people talking about scripting and about whether pass assist was such a thing or whether pass assist impacted it. And granted, if you are on a lesser pass assist, mm. if you're on pass support three, for example. Which is the lesser one because for whatever reason they reverse them. Yeah, um, that's what I'm you, on. I think. Your your passes, you're having to obviously do a lot more work with your sticks and with your controller. Yeah. Whereas with PA one, you can do blind passes. You can do you know you can do ridiculously yeah complex passes, through balls. Yeah. You can do one eighty passes and it, and it all just kind of works. And and similarly, a, a shout out goes out to to the the FUBA community. Mm. Is that, 
those guys are suffering hard yeah. because they can't play anybody else who's Fuma. And yeah. uh, for the for for those who are uninitiated, Fuma is is an acronym for full manual. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not an offshoot of Puma. Um, but it's like for those guys, they don't have that ability to go and play another manual player because yeah. imagine for those guys, the the feeling that we get when we score a goal with pass assists, mm. with some some yeah, level yeah, of pass yeah, yeah. assist, and with some level of shooting assist. Mm. For us, it's great. For those guys, it must be magical. It mm. must be like, oh my god, we've just we have literally just scored the Arthur best goal you've goal ever seen. Death, yeah, man. because it's fully it's fully them and it's fully what they are able to do. So, I think pass assists. Oh, sorry, the 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 filter system for pass assists, the filter system for team strength certainly needs to come back in because again, if you are somebody who has you know an under twenty three squad that you just want to bring through the ranks, you want to train up. You don't then want to be coming up against Vieira, Ronaldinho, yeah. and, and no, Batistuta. You want to be strange. you want to be coming up against comparative players, you mm-hmm. know, and that and that in itself, it, it, it's something that they do need to improve. I'd love to see that in season two. Yeah, like, really would. Yeah, it, it just dropped it in, and that and then that's there forever. Mm-hmm. Not just oh, it's for season two and that's it. If mm-hmm. it's there forever, I'll be I'll be absolutely grand. Yeah, but you know. The, the enjoyment level certainly is there. That mm. MLO vibe that we talked about uh, in previous pods, that's still there. Mm. Like the fact that I've got 170k GP waiting to yeah. see what I can do with and see what I want to do with. Like, you know, the ability that I've got to change my manager, which they mm. can change my play style, but I've got to weigh up whether I want to use yeah. the, the training points training, to yeah. then change yep. it. Like all of those different wrinkles of, of customization is great. I think stuff like, of course, when we do get eventually get edit mode and things like that will bring the game even more yeah. so to life than it already is. Um, and, I, and I think from there, I think we'll see kind of... I think once edit mode drops, everybody will suddenly go, ah, do you know what? This is this is the game. Mm. Like It's it's already from a gameplay standpoint, this is the... This is the, the, the uh, you know, at least from when it plays, as you said, when it plays as freely and as fluidly as it does. Yep. That's it's the definitely game solid, gameplay. Like... But... <clears throat> if they can tight, if they tighten the screws and they make sure that the responsiveness is still there, or they make improvements to responsiveness and make it a bit more, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, consistent. Mm. You know, you want it to be a case where things are a bit more consistent in terms of where players will pick up balls and, but you know, the, there's there's sometimes that sluggishness when players turn, like yeah. it's just not quite there, and 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 that's even when they're on full stamina. It's not even when they're on like yeah. half or, or like red. Oh, some crazy like, stuff I can understand it. Jesus. I can understand it. I can understand it when they're on red stamina. I understand it completely because mm. it's like, ah, oh, do you know what? Player's tired. He's not going to move as fluidly. I get that. Yeah. When they're on full though, and I've got Ronaldinho who's like looking at looking at the ball, and then he just It'll runs stop. the other way, yeah. and I'm like, ah, oh, come on, please. So yeah. yeah, I think I think there's there's certainly a game within there. I think if they tighten it up and they add some more stuff to it, great. I'm just I just don't want to have these hanging large scale maintenance periods that happen all the time. Yeah, like because it's just it they, they've got to find a smarter way to work. Mm. That's 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 my my takeaway from it. Yeah. But certainly season one, on the on the whole, for me is it is a plus. Mm. It's, been, it's been a plus. It's not been yeah. a, it's not been a minus. It's been a plus. Oh d- yeah, I I agree, man. And as I as as I said, and like it ties in perfectly with what we're saying with with that tweet from Crasco confirming the in-game announcement there of rolling back that there is going to be divisions. I mean, every developer's dream is to, you know, their own, like the main complaint to be that they can't play something or they can't get enough of it or something like that. You know what I mean? And that's mm-hmm. that's that's a massive launching point for Konami to, you know, to drive on this game now. And like for me personally, I genuinely, I genuinely like have not had as much fun playing football as i've had playing i'd say the last time was now co-op right i leave co-op out because i can't compare yeah, co-op, co-op, co-op's co-op's a very separate thing like i you. i've already warned the girlfriend like i said if co-op <laughs> comes and when co-op comes like i'm literally not going to see you for a couple of weeks straight like so like you just be prepared for that because when co-op comes and i'm able to like either like we used to have me and my my brother and my good friend we used to have um we used to have Pez like Thursdays. So we literally like they'd come over onto the couch, three pads lined up, you know, drinks and uh, pizza, or whatever. And we'd sit down, we'd play maybe two or yeah. three hours of just co-op 3v3 or whatever. Like we'd be fighting with each other some nights, like we'd be, you know, hugging each other as other nights. And like, obviously, look, the gameplay, it's like when we used to play Warzone with, you know, Sophie and Asim and, and Kara and we used to all be in yeah. a group having to, having to banter. And it wasn't about the game. It was about the experience of us through COVID. Yeah, yeah. And it got us through COVID brilliantly. But like, 
I've also played with you, Co-op. I've played with Sep. I've played with Laza. I've played with a load of different people. Shales, Ali, Carrasco, like, and the banter and crack. So I'll leave Co-op aside because I don't think that can compare. But in terms of, like, the 1v1 experience, like, I echo exactly what you're saying there where, like, I'm literally, if I'm not playing the game, I'm thinking about it. If I'm not thinking about it, I'm talking about it. I'm messaging you like, oh, look at this goal or you're messaging me just packed in Zaggy or just packed like, <laughs> this guy or whatever. Um, yeah, it's just, it's it's back, I think, to that level of excitement that it's like, you know, it's like, yeah, I know that there's a lot of issues. And I've talked about, if anyone has watched my videos, like I've had one or two games where I've literally like had like nearly had to stop live recording because the pad was either going to be thrown out the window or else <laughs> I was going to be start tearing out my hair live on camera. Um, but they're few and far between, you know what I mean? The rest of the games, win, lose or draw, I've either just accepted, yeah, I've lost to that guy. He had my number. He was better than me or yeah, yeah. I got screwed and that's just what happens online because there's a lot of different factors and stuff like that. Now, I think I've started to recognize and accept that like, when I'm losing games, like I'm going to lose games. So I don't, I kind of, kind of am self-aware that it's like, I'm not, you know, 21, 22 year old yeah. anymore with the best reaction times in the world. <laughs> um, you know, I'm a bit older now, a bit more of a casual kind of player. Yeah. Um, I don't know about you, but is that something that you're kind of aware of when you're playing games, even, you know, that, that kind of aren't going your way that you kind of self-recognize, look, it's just not my day. It doesn't matter if this guy isn't as good as me and I'm getting screwed. He's winning. Just accept it and yeah. move on. Like because Yeah, yeah. I think I think there's I think there's there's a little bit of it. So obviously I from, from I would probably say how I entered kind of the, the esports kind of arena. Mm. Like I was quite late to the party in yeah. a sense of I was kind of mid twenties. I was well, Astro know, Prime. Seen, seen, is that I, what you're I, saying? I, I what I what I mean what I mean is is that like it was it you know, I wasn't like if I'd have, if I'd have been if I'd have been seventeen, yeah, and yeah, I'd have yeah. Been, like, like you know, your synapse, you know, your, your reflexes are a lot better than what they are mm. right now. You know, um, I think from for me, like I my kind of attitude to gaming now is is that I just want to have fun with exactly, it. So yeah. if I end up getting a fifty percent win rate, which I think was what I ended up with at, at the end of season one. Mm. I'm not really defined by I'm not defined by a win rate. I'm not defined by results. I'm not really defined by how a game plays. Like I just want to have some fun. Yeah. And if I'm having fun, even if I am losing games, yeah. or even if I am kind of, you know, even if I'm losing games or I'm I'm going, you know, I'm winning six or seven nil, like or whatever the case may be. As long as I'm having and playing, um, uh, having fun and playing a fun video game, mm. it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah. Like I don't care if it's if it's eFootball, if it's FIFA, if it's whatever. Mm. Like as long as I'm enjoying myself, yeah. it doesn't really matter. And and I think there does come a level of maturity with it. Like that's that last stream, for example. I just I was I think I was about half an hour into it, and I was already talking about the fact of not really enjoying this not sure if it's me or if it's the game yeah um, just one of those game one of those think, sessions wasn't it That's, yeah i think, that, it happens, I, think I, like... won, I think i think i won a game to close it out but then i even said like do you know what i'm not even going to push past this yeah i'm just gonna just you know i'm gonna follow my own advice for a change i constantly talk to people about you know if they're not enjoying video games i should you know step away peace out bit, yeah and, and step away and you know i followed my own advice for a change and and to be fair to it it, it worked that evening because you know what i went off had a piece of the evening and then I came back the next day, and I was fine. Yeah. And, you know, I think I spoke to you about buying um, Pochettino as a manager, mm. changed up my manager, changed up my play style, mm. and started to have fun with it yeah. again. So it's 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 it, it. I think sometimes your 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 enjoyment of video games can be defined either by how you were feeling as you as a person. Yeah. So if you've had a bad day, yeah. <laughs> you are going to see you're going to see you when you the click on your, comes your, out. your game, you're going to see. You're gonna see the worst of it. You're gonna yeah. see the worst in every video game that you play. You're gonna see every glitch, every bad animation, every piece of thing that you feel like you've been done wrong against you. <laughs> every every single thing, you'll see everything. Yeah. Whereas if you've had a good day, you'll completely bypass all that and you'll yeah. go, Do you know what, actually I'm just having fun with this. But the one that I kind of point to and I go, it infuriates me that it's even an animation is and you'll know the animation I'm talking about, is when your your player your opponent has played a pass. Mm -hmm. pass goes through you're running back with a defender and they take that 
I can only describe it as a Double, stupid yeah, touch, touch yeah, yeah, where yeah. they're like they're stretching yeah. backwards with yeah, their yeah, leg. Yeah, yeah. But then whatever ha- but then in that one moment, the ball is either gonna go through to your opponent mm-hmm. because it hasn't quite caught your player, or it's gonna bounce back to the player yeah, that's passed. Perfect's it. path, yeah, to run under. But there's, yeah. no, but there's but there's nothing that you can do as no, a player. No, it's just a, it's an but animation. That's what it is. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is is that there's nothing for you to stop that animation happening. And there's nothing to stop you. There's nothing that stops it from happening, mm. and there's nothing to stop the effects of it happening. Mm. Is that that's that's the game? The game has decided, for whatever reason, the game has decided that that's what that animation needs to be. Yeah. But then, as a result, those effects then happen. So, for example, ball might go back to the opponent. They can then try another pass, or ball goes flying through to uh, ball. Ball ricochets off of your player, goes through to the player, but because in that one touch the game has recognized that the you have the ball all your players fly forward mm. whereas the player who's meant to receive the ball still yeah. stood there ball goes through yeah. he's clean through yeah. so when people talk about oh well, the, the hard baked events and, and and hard coded events and things like that it's not necessarily that that event is what's it, it's that event that has caused that but it's not that it's predetermined that that's going to be the thing that happens mm. it's going to be a case of your players will shoot forward because you control the, you're control. you in control of the ball even though you're not in control of the ball. Or your players will then shoot forward where your opponent will yeah. still have the ball here yeah, and you. you'll be left on the 2v1. So, mm-hmm. you know, the dynamic of the game has changed. But, it, you know, I used to think in my head, oh, well, that's because people's heads have gone mm. because they've conceded the goal just for half time. They start to do stuff that they weren't meant to do or they start doing stuff they're not comfortable with and then I'm then punishing them. There can be occasions where it looks as though for example, that that particular ricochet animation, I'll look at it and go, "Well, if that happens for me, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna benefit from that mm. and I'll score." Mm. And I know that if the opponent happens to them, I'll be sitting there going, "I can't believe that's happened. Yeah. I've got no control over it." But neither does the opponent. Yeah, I that's, know what you that's, mean. That, and that particular animation has no bearing. There's no mm. input command for, for example, there's no input command on that animation, and there's no input command for you know that kind of silky turn that people do where the ball comes in, they do like a little mm-hmm. pirouette. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no input. There's no input command for it. Yeah, it's I know what you mean. Pedri does it the whole and time. It just, and it just and it just happens. Yeah. So people look at it and go. Well, why does it just happen? Like, yeah. I would rather it be a case that if there is a command for it, great. I'd mm. rather have a command. Keep the animation and allow me to have a command for that or yeah. allow me to have like a, a skill move turn button. Allow me to have that control to go, that's what I want him to do. Mm. Because there have been times where I've been through on goal. They'll do a pirouette yeah, turn. Through the turn. Yeah, and me and then there's, suddenly three, there's three defenders sat in front of me. I'm like, well, if I'd have just if it had just taken that normally, I wouldn't have an issue. Yeah. I wouldn't, I'd, I'd be in on goal here. So. Yeah. I get, I kind of get the discussion points that are happening within within the, the whole scripting debate. Or at least I'm starting to get more more of an understanding now because, again, in my foolish ways that I used to be, I just shut people down and go, I don't believe in it. But actually, I just go now and go, actually, what is it you're saying that happens here? Mm. And I think I think if you start to understand that side of it you'll start to get a more well-rounded look at it to go, well, actually, there are some things in the game that don't quite make sense. Those mm. two animations in particular yeah. doesn't quite But again, make you sense. say there, it's anima- you see, that's animations, you see. That's the thing. Once you're locked into an animation, like it's like it's like clipping. Do you know what I mean? It's like, how did that ball... Okay, at 98 minutes, I'm one all with this guy. He's a good player. He's on me under pressure. I make a tackle and the ball goes through the player's leg or the, and it's like what like why is that in the game and it's like yeah, yeah. There, there, you know there's lots of issues it's the same way as like I don't know how many times I've dropped into warzone and right from the rip I drop and I can't find a gun and then 10 seconds later some guy drops gets a machine gun and just blows the head off me and it's like yeah, yeah, but yeah. why didn't I why didn't I when I turned that corner get a gun why was it that when he turned right and I turned left that he got the gun and I didn't and I died and now it's game over like that's that's the thing it's like it's a lot of random stuff happening and as you said there that like when you're talking about animations and you're talking about like the cycle of animation driven gameplay which is basically what it is when you are on the ball like when you have the ball under your control everything you're doing is an animation so if you do a random animation as you said with the pirouette turn there like you know that's not like oh what skill you know i ripped him it's like no the game just did that turn yeah the game the game decided you're doing that turn yeah that's what i'm saying so so rather than those animations be oh okay well they're just animations that happen 
give give inputs to those animations. Yeah. Allow me to hold L one when I receive the ball or mm. L two or whatever yeah, yeah, button yeah. you want to make it. I know what you mean, yeah. Allow me to hold allow me to hold a button where I can then do a skill move or a yeah. skill turn or I can do a skill turn. Or allow me to have a button where actually I can cut I can cut back in and try and block a ball or face up a ball mm. rather than having to run you know, allow me to have like a run like uh yeah, like a, a running jockey, as it yeah. were. I know you've got a matchup that doesn't really get used a lot, but allow me to have that ability rather than it just being the game decides that that animation is happening. Yeah, I, and I know I know that we've spoken a lot about animations there, but that those <laughs> types of occurrences, I think, is what a lot of people do lean to when they talk about they talk about scripting and yeah. and events that happen in the game that you shouldn't you shouldn't have happen. Yeah, because there's no there's no control to them, mm. which I think is where people then go. Well, if I'm not in control of it, then who determines it? Yeah, oh, okay. it's the frustration well, it starts to creep in. Then. It, it, it must just be scripted into the game. Yeah, and that, and I think that's where that discussion was at. But I'm sure we'll have a, a, a much lengthier talk on that. Yeah, but um, definitely because there's, there's certainly more occurrences than just those two. But yeah. if, if you've noticed, even with those two occurrences, we've been talking for what feels like what 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> like, but even on those two occurrences, yeah. it's, uh, that's the that's the that's the type of. That's the type of thing I think people look at. Yeah. No, it's definitely worth a, a longer discussion, you know, yes, where we can definitely. go into it because it is it is definitely something that a lot of people talk about. But just to end this podcast off, so right, and like kind of close it off, we've had obviously the breaking news there um of the divisions and coming back and all that bit of a U-turn, which is huge in my opinion. Um, but like what are you looking forward to in season two and in the future, really? Just give me kind of a Give me one thing you're looking forward to. Is it match pass? Is it like I'm better looking, rewards? Yeah. Or... I'm looking. Well, I'm going to be. I'm going to be selfish here and take two. I'd. I'd like to see an improvement on the reward system because, okay. or even even just to give us some type of replayability. Once yeah, we've, yeah. Once yeah. we once we've done the events, just give us something where we can go. Oh, okay, well we can go and train our players in this. Yeah. And go and get trainers or whatever. And I'd like to see what the match pass is going to you know be able to do. Uh, is it going to be a case of you pay for one match pass? And they'll give you enough coins that you're able to then do the next one, i.e., yeah. kind of how Fortnite do theirs. Yeah, I reckon. Or whether it it's going to be a case of, or whether it's a case of it's going to be like a monthly subscription type thing, which I think yeah. will turn quite a few games off. Um, I'm interested to see how it all kind of breaks down in terms of objectives as well. Um, but yeah, it's more a case of just seeing what content is going to come now, rather mm. than rather than going. Well, I'm not too sure what's what's going to come, what's happening. Yeah, not too sure. But I'd like, I just want a bit of confirmation underneath underneath us to go. This is what's happening. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, long term for me, it's obviously edit mode. Like, I want to see, like, what's coming down the line in edit mode because I think that that would transform the game. You know, if you pull Salah, you pull Benzema, and he's coming out in a crisp, you know, a crisp uh, Sarto or Carrasco kit or Nemesis or Clash or whoever coming out in a crisp. Nemo Nem only does Chelsea. Yeah, well, Nem, no, no, he he will, he'll, he'll do. He'll do someone else. <laughs> but uh, if we get him out, or okay, we'll say Havertz so. To get him, yeah. to get him on, on on board, but like coming out in a crisp kit, or you know, even custom yeah, kits, yeah. you know what I mean. Like if you have a custom Weza kit or Sep or whoever, yeah, yeah, Spoonie, yeah. whoever, like it's um, I I won't even mention what Jenkins will probably cook up because it'll be like <laughs> I don't even want to imagine oh, what that man, could be. But uh, <laughs> yeah, like that's that's kind of for me selfishly as well. I'm kind of looking forward to that because I think I filled the the edit mode hole that's in my heart with you know, playing the game and doing content creation, which I've loved. But, you know, I do miss the editing. I just miss, yeah. you know, tinkering around and having late night editing sessions with the lads, Alistair and them. Um, you know, I do miss that, like, as well. So I think for me, I think that would push the game massively forward if you had some sort of, even, look, we don't know anything on Masterly get. Obviously, that's a whole other podcast. We can talk about what we want from that. Yeah. Um, but I think even an offline tournament mode, like where you could just play a league, like a single season league, no transfers. Or just, not... give, or, or just give us, or just give us lobbies where we can play a match. Oh well, man, a co-op, a co-op oh, for me, as lobbies. I mentioned, my short term one is co-op. Like I know as much as I love oh, yeah. edit mode, co-op oh, well, is I, my. I get your, I get your own co-op, but I mean, like as in, like just lobbies. Just yeah, you mean just to be just able to invite friends? Out. Yeah, because yeah, you do have just... plans for Pez Uni yeah. Cup, or uh, we have big plans yeah. for content like that where we can get people involved because yeah, it just you know, be it would be it huge, man. And also the, the 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 big boys with the eleven v eleven leagues, they'll they'll yeah. definitely be excited by yeah, this. Yeah, that would be huge. I know that some of them do listen to this pod. Yeah. 
and like they are starving they yeah. are waiting they mm. literally like come on just give it us now just give yeah. it us imagine like, like 11 v 11 mode like where it's like drop in drop out and you can just yeah, invite great. friends with the click of a button and you yeah, know clean up the ui that, and the, the stuff like mm-hmm. that like it'd be massive and imagine having a rank and you can create a team you know and join your team yes. and there's yeah, so yeah, much yeah. stuff i think that they can add um but yeah co-op for me will be my my short term and edit mode will be my long term i'm looking forward to but yeah as i said man if the match pass is any bit decent i mean i'd be happy enough with a match pass of like okay here's your end of season re- or end of match pass reward a la nba 2k where it's like right you're going to get a 99 rated version of lebron james if you complete all these rewards and mm-hmm. whatever and you've got six weeks or eight weeks to do it um yeah, yeah i think just having something to play for i think especially for me I'm never going to have a 90 win percent ratio. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not but good it'll, enough. But it'll, to, stop, it'll stop people quitting out as well. Yeah, it'll and it'll stop, stop people, people from actually in. maybe, you know, like it'll start people that like will have something to work towards. And it's like, right, well, I can just yeah. finish out this game and get my coins instead of abandoning it and losing 20 minutes of yeah. my life for nothing. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like indeed, I'd always, indeed. I'd always play, play a match to the end. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, I think we'll end it there. I think we'll yeah. end it there. I'm going to let you do the outro now, seeing as that's your baby and I'm not going to get it back. But, uh, well, you, well, you just do such a poor job of it. I, I do, I, I do, well I do. I'm an intro so, man. I'm an intro man. So, so of course, the, the podcast, as you're probably aware of, you're listening to it, is available on iTunes and SoundCloud for the audio version. If you do want the video version, you can like, comment, and subscribe on the Pez Universe uh, YouTube channel. Um, until next time, guys, uh, I have been Wes FC. He has been the Midnight Kid, and we will see you guys next time. Peace, lads. Good luck.